everyone. Today we're going to be checking out the World's Smallest Robots, um, World's Smallest Transformers um, by Justy Toys, Ultimate Fire, aka Great Shot, limited to 500 pieces. You can see that this box is pretty much a re-colored um, version of the Six Shot box, which leads me kind of into um, one of the gripes I have about the fig, but um, we'll get into that in a second here. Back of the box. Nice little fight scene between the Dinobots and the Constructicons. A little bit of a tech spec there. I believe this is the one of the last of the um, World's Smallest Transformers made. Could be wrong. Alright, there he is in his um, Starfighter whatnot alt mode. Really sweet looking. Nicely detailed for its size. I do like the fact that it's got some weight to them, being that this part's metal, chest piece is metal, really, really nice, um, very nicely scaled down version of Great Shot. So, I'll have some picks at the end, I'm not going to transform into all six modes because of the fact that um, it's... Um, a little tiresome trying to transform a little dude, whatnot. And once I transform him into robot mode, you'll kind of see he's exactly the same as his counterpart. Not great shot, but six shot. You do have to be careful with these guns and whatnot, since he is a smaller fig and a little bit um, pricier. You don't want to kind of snap off these little um, pegs. If I can focus here, right there. So transform real quickly. Like I said, he transforms just like his counterpart. Like any one that's in this mold. It is nice. He's just like the Shadow Maru. He doesn't have the bar that connects the legs together. So, that's pretty, I guess, kind of nice. Pull those back. His leg feet here. Alright, there he is, transformed into his robot mode. So we'll start off with a little bit of a complaint, I guess, disappointment. I really wanted uh, another Great Shot fig. I, I mean, there's not that many Great Shot figs out there. Waiting for the um, Hexatron to hopefully be retooled, recolored. But um, we'll see. But as you can see, his head is exactly like Six Shot. Um, he doesn't have the shoulder cannons. And this part right here is just a sticker, unfortunately. I mean, it, it is nice that we at least have it. I mean, that was a nice little added feature, but it would have really sucked if they didn't have that. He does have some stickers that go here, but they look more like um, the ones that came with Six Shot. And they look more... Um, kind of Decepticon colored like so I didn't put them on but so that's my biggest gripe his also his um animal transformation is not a uh, rhino like the real great shot is it's the um, six shot animal transformation so that's unfortunate it's just unfortunate I guess maybe they were in a hurry to get this guy out um, I did hear rumors that this guy was gonna be canceled whatnot I'm not sure and they just recolored him, gave us a sticker, and called it good. Would have been nice if they would have um, done a little more with him, but oh well. Here he is next to Bumblebee. Kind of a little size comparison there. He goes great with a lot of the city um, Transformers and whatnot. That's what I like about him. Um, really great with like the Planet X um, Genesis. Omega Supreme or the um, Hercules Devastator guys. Really nice figs still. I do like him. I mean, he's got all the same articulation as the um, G1, but in a smaller scale, which is nice. It's unfortunate. I mean, I guess a lot of people think that Six Shot is Great Shot, which 
could be true, could not be true. I don't know. I don't, you know, I'm not going to get into that, but this kind of could play into that. I mean, his morphing into what he looks like in victory in the actual gray shot mode. I don't know. Could work. Let's zoom out real quick. Here he is next to the real gray shot, I guess. Comes up to about his knee there. And as you can kind of tell, he doesn't have the, the wings or the cannons and then obviously the face sculpt. He's got the blue eyes. That's that's nice, I guess. So, um, Would I recommend picking up this guy? If you're a world's smallest Transformer fan, sure, go for it. Um, it's really cool to have you know, guys that are not common, like Great Shot here. The six shot one, I believe, is probably more um, um, is easier to find, I guess. Probably cheaper. This guy cost me around 50 bucks. I'm sure that's not. Um, I'm sure that's probably low end price for him now. He's probably mo a lot more. I don't know. I haven't seen him. Um, now that they don't make these guys anymore, he's probably a little bit harder to find. It's probably not going to be on anyone's like like wish list or whatnot, but really nice little fig, whatnot. My first uh, world smallest transformer. I'll probably get some other ones, maybe like the Astro Train and definitely the Shockwave are, that is on my list, and some other guys, especially with the new Metroplex coming out. See what they look like next to them. So this has just been a quick little look at the world smallest transformer Ultimate Fire by Justy e. Toys. Thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for some more, and I'll. Talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.